Hi guys, Rose here with The Cackling Moon. This is going to be a rambly video. Um, I put out on Instagram um, for you guys to send me you know, video requests if there was anything in particular you wanted to see me talk about. Um, I received a couple of them from you guys, but one of them that really stuck out that I thought I should actually address is um, one of you asked how, like what is the best way to reveal your tarot practice to family members? Um, and I wanted to tap into that one a little bit because it's actually something that I'm dealing with right now, but I also wanted to make sure <clears throat> that you guys are aware. I have this gorgeous candle here. It smells so, oh, it's like a cucumber scent. It smells so good. Um, so I wanted to say first things first, you are not obligated to reveal any sort of practice, belief system, lifestyle, whatever with anybody, okay? You are not obligated to share any of that part of yourself with anyone. Family, friends, coworkers, whatever, whoever. Um, you are not obligated to do that. <clears throat> I feel like too many times we think that we have to be 100% transparent with everybody in our life um, when the reality is we don't. Um, and a good way to describe that is to think about, think about anyone in your life, really. Um, do you have anybody in your life who's literally checking in with you 24 seven, right? Is there anyone in your life who's going like, Hey, um, so I'm doing this now. This is my new belief system or, Oh, I'm dating so-and-so and this is what we do behind closed doors. Or, oh, I just switched jobs, everybody. This is what I'm now working as. <laughs> um, no, nobody does that. Nobody does that. And I think that the reason why we get into that mindset, myself included, of thinking that we need to announce our lives to the world is because we live in a day and age where we are literally posting online for the whole world to see what we're eating, what we're doing, what we're feeling. <laughs> we're living in a digital world. We are living in a world where it's like the thing to post where you're at, to tag yourself, who you're with. What are you eating today? Take that Instagram worthy photo of your food, you know? It, it's just, that is part of the norm these days to tell everybody what we're doing. Um, but it's a reminder to ourselves, and I think we need, we need to remind ourselves that you don't have to disclose jack shit with anybody. Um, it's no one's business. It's nobody's business um, unless you choose to do that. And I just saw 333. So thank you, my angels, my guides, whoever. <laughs> 333. I just, I like seeing threes. Anyways, um, so that said... I just wanted to make sure I made that clear and, and explain that because I don't want anyone watching this video thinking that you have to, you know, that you have to do this. You have to disclose what you're doing because you don't, okay? You absolutely do not. Um, so a little backstory for me. Um, I have some people in my, in my world, in my world, both personal, both work life and both family that know what I do and then I have a nice chunk that don't in work life, family life, and like my social friendship circles. So I have some people who do and some who don't. Um, the, way, the way I disclosed it, like the way I figured I, who I could talk to and who I can't um, is based on the conversations that I have with those people. There are certain people that I come into contact with that I just know all, right off the bat. <laughs> okay, that's somebody I can't talk to about certain things because it will kind of violate their little comfort bubble that they have or <laughs> they're too close-minded for it or their belief system is completely different from mine or it's just not appropriate talk for work. You know what I mean? So it could be a lot of different factors. There's a lot of different reasons why I don't disclose what I do because of those reasons. There's multiple reasons. It's not because I'm afraid or it's not because I'm like shy. It's just sometimes it's not appropriate. 
or sometimes that person won't understand. And it's not my responsibility to make somebody understand that they need to do that on their own. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's different reasons why some people in my life don't know. Um, so the people that I did tell or did open up to, um, I would have to say like when I told my husband, <laughs> he was obviously the main one in my life that I told. Um, he knew I was into things that were starting to become more heavily involved. Like he knew I was into astrology and all of that, right? Just like my parents, they all know I love astrology. But I started to dabble more into like the tarot cards and dabbling into this and that and my subject matters and the books I was reading started to change. And he was he was seeing it. But we did have the talk, you know? So I did share with him, hey, this is what I've been doing. I'm, I think I'm gonna learn how to read the cards, blah, blah, blah. And when we first, like, when he first came into the know of it, his main thing was don't conjure demons. <laughs> Which I think is basically everybody's superficial approach to tarot cards is the first thing that they think is it's demonic or you're going to conjure demons or you're like doing satanist things it's just that's just like the closed-minded way of looking at it um and so he had that approach and i remember what i ended up doing was by my practice evolving and by me becoming more knowledgeable and more comfortable with what i was doing it helped him to become more comfortable with what I was doing, okay? So I think that's a big tip for you guys. Those of you who feel like you're ready to start sharing what you do, make sure you are already 100% comfortable with what you're doing. Because if you're trying to share something with someone who maybe that's not anything that they're interested in or anything that they understand, and you are coming into it not knowing what the fuck you're doing, they're gonna be looking at you like, uh, what are you doing? <laughs> so make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing and that you, that you believe in what you do. You know what I mean? Because if you don't believe in what you're doing or you're already having doubts and you're, and you're just looking for validation that what you're doing is right, you're not gonna get it from somebody who doesn't know what the fuck it is, okay? <laughs> So just make sure that you are comfortable in your path, in your journey, in your belief system before you start to open the gates and allowing, you know, other people in the know of what you do. It'll help tremendously because when I first read from my husband, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I didn't know how to read the cards. I had never taken a class or anything. I was literally just pulling a card and reading from the guidebook. <laughs> And the first card that he pulled was the death card. So you could believe, you, you could just imagine how that went with him. <laughs> he was not happy. So just make sure you guys are comfortable and you know what the fuck you're doing before you start to mention it and invite other people in, okay? Um, so that's probably a big tip for that. The second thing is, like I said, gauging the people you want to talk to about it. Um, if you know right off the bat, so-and-so is not the person to, to share your path with, don't do it. Unless, of course, you are completely comfortable with that awkward, that awkwardness, or you're comfortable with being like blasted with 21 questions about yourself. You know what I mean? Some people are cool with it. Some people don't care. And then some people are like, oh my God, I, I couldn't even deal with that. I'm one of those people I can't deal with that. So to me, it's like, if I already have a sense, my intuition, my spidey senses are telling me, that person's closed-minded, they're not gonna wanna, they're not gonna know, they're not gonna understand, it's taboo to them, I wouldn't even bother because I'm not gonna put myself in that uncomfortable situation with them. <laughs> so gauging who is worthy of you opening up and who isn't, okay? That's another tip. Um... So when it comes to sharing what you do with people, do it subtly, you know? So when I was working and I first came out to my coworkers, um, I had already been having conversations with my coworkers. And um, at that particular workplace, this isn't the one I work at right now, at that particular workplace, me and those coworkers would spend a lot of time, we would like share everything about each other. <laughs> so, you know, we kind of got really deep with one another. 
Um, and I and they noticed like so what they did was I would always be wearing like a crystal right and they started to notice those things so they would ask questions about it and simply by them asking me and then them being interested in the topic showed me boom I could talk to them about this stuff so when I revealed the cards to them they were so open about it and it was really easy to be more of myself so I would say start planting little seeds <laughs> with the people you feel that you've already gauged are gonna be more open-minded about it and more understanding about it, um, start planting little breadcrumbs for them. So start wearing your little crystal jewelry or have your deck in your purse, or maybe it's poking out, like maybe you have it sitting on your kitchen, kitchen counter when you invite guests over, or, um, or you have like a card out as a bookmark that's a big conversation starter. If you have like a book, I don't have one with me, but if you have a book and you have the, the tarot card peeking out of the book and then someone sees it and they ask you a question about it, that's happened to me at work before. Um, so that like li planting little breadcrumbs to get people to be curious and ask you, but I would not <laughs> plant those breadcrumbs with the people that you would absolutely be horrified if they found out um, just don't do that to yourself. Um, for me, I've been I've been planting little breadcrumbs here and there with certain family members and certain friends. Um, little by little, like when I see them, I'll be wearing a crystal necklace or sometimes I have crystal you know rings on or whatever. I'll be doing that. Um, one time I full blown wore my Pisces shirt around my mom. <laughs> And, you know, she just kind of, she saw it, but she didn't say anything. Um, but to me, it's like, I'm putting that out there. Like, yes, I'm still interested in the astrology or yeah, I'm into this stuff. So that it's like, it's not shocking if they found out, you know? Um, so you could start doing that too. But I would say, I would, I would just say, always just keep it in the back of your mind that you do not have to be 100% open book to everybody. Okay, you can have secrets. You are entitled to your secrets. You are entitled to your privacy. Um, so as much as I would want my parents to question me about certain things, I also honor the fact that they would really not like it, what I do, and they wouldn't understand it. And I just keep it simple with them. <laughs> I keep it simple with them, you know. I, the, they know the astrology stuff. Of, they know that I'm into that. They know I'm into the crystals. They know all of that. Like they're not completely like oblivious to myself. They knew I worked at a crystal shop, all of that stuff, but they just don't know every detail. And I, pr I, pr I am pretty comfortable with it staying that way um, because I have my own life, you know, and I live in my own place. And so it's just the way it is. And, and same thing with my friends. I have friends that um, I've been friends with for many years who don't know jack shit that I do this stuff. <laughs> and they would probably like, think I was the weirdest person ever. Um, and they're friends that I only see maybe once a year, maybe not even once a year, um, but we still stay in contact on my other Instagram. And so to me, it's just like, I don't feel the need to share that piece of my life with them because they're not a part of my everyday, you know? My husband is a part of my everyday. Um, my coworkers are a part of my everyday. And so it's very important for me to be able to be more free with my coworkers and my husband than like with my parents whom I don't see every day. But when I was living with them, that's a different story. Um, and I chose to keep everything on the hush hush because I was respecting their house. So that's another thing too, is like, your mind, your living situation. If you're living under the roof of someone else who does not enjoy this stuff, you got to honor their, their wishes because you're respecting their house, right? So, um, that was one reason why, even though, yeah, I saw my parents every day at one point, I kept everything locked down because I was respecting their house. Um, but I don't see my parents every day. I see them maybe once a week twice a week if I'm like, you know, stopping by to visit. Um, and same thing like with my sister, I don't see her, I see her maybe once a year, if that, because she lives far away. <laughs> so to me, it's just like, 
I don't need to be 100% open with those people, but people I do see every day, like my coworkers, they see me wearing my crystals. They've seen my decks out. Some of them even follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so it's just like, I feel so much more better when I can be myself around those people because I'm not constantly hiding, you know? So I can understand why some of you guys who may be watching this video, you're just tired of hiding. You're tired of hiding yourself to everybody. You have to really understand that if you open yourself up to people, whether it's one person or everybody, you got to be willing to take any and all feedback. You don't have to take it as like the truth. You know what I mean? Like you, what I'm saying is that you don't have to listen to it, but you have to be willing, you have to be aware that people are going to give you their feedback, whether you like it or not, if you choose to open yourself up and be vulnerable in that sense, okay? Now, people who are downright rude, like if, they're, if you have like online trolls and they're telling you bullshit, block them. Don't even give them the time of day. But you can't just block, I wish we could, but <laughs> but you can't block somebody who's like face to face with you, giving you a piece of their mind, you know? So just be very mindful and aware of, you know, who you are talking to and how they may react and if you are willing to put yourself through that or not. Um, and so I think that it's just important for me to, to, to explain that because I think that sometimes... Um, we think we're doing ourselves a favor by being 100% open with everybody, but you also open a can of worms too. So it's kind of like, it has its advantages and then its disadvantages. And it's kind of like, which one is more, more worth it to you? So let's pull a card on that because I pretty much said everything I needed to say. <laughs> oh, and okay, no, actually before we pull the card, my last tip is, make new friends make new friends if you have a family and a social circle of old friends that you have since like high school and everybody is just close-minded close-minded people um make new friends that's like another thing a piece of advice uh, join the communities online okay facebook has them Instagram, we're on there, I'm on there. <laughs> um, or even like in your local crystal shops, the metaphysical shops, join a class, go to a class. You're gonna meet people who are into the same stuff. When you are putting yourself out there and making new friends and pe with people who are within the same community and the same beliefs and the same interests, it's 100% easier to be yourself than with people who are just, they just don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes you just need to move on. Sometimes you just need to put down your barriers, you know, okay, this friend I can't be 100% with, but I still love them, you know, but make new friends, make new friends so you can be 100% and feel safe, you know? And that's one of the things I did. I have a lot of new friends on social media that I talk to on the daily, um, that I feel like if I need to talk to them about something spiritual related, they're going to get it versus like <laughs> one of my other friends who they only know like one half of me and they wouldn't get it if I was telling them, oh, I think I have a new spirit guide contacting me. They're going to be like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> like they're not going to get it. So make new friends, open yourself up to a whole new social circle. It'll help you so much. Um, so that's the final tip I have. So let's pull a card. Whoa. Let's pull some cards. And okay, I had, actually, I'm just going to keep shuffling because that was like four cards that fell out. Ugh. Sorry, guys. Let me get my cards. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, did I light my hair on fire? All right. Let's, let's keep pulling. Because what would a tarot ramble be without pulling a tarot card? My room smells so good. I lit incense. Um, and it smells amazing. Oh, oh my God, these cards. I'm going to pull three cards. 
So the one that just fell out. Ooh. Okay. So. Ow. Okay. So we have strength, seven of cups, eight of swords. Now, this is telling me some of you guys who are watching, who are watching this right now are one, going to feel empowered by the message I just revealed. Okay. You're going to be having watched this video and you're going to, it's going to click for some of you. Okay. You're going to be watching it and you're going to think, oh shit, I don't have to be hundred percent with everybody and it's okay. <laughs> so some of you needed to hear that. Okay. Some of you are having a whole bunch of like possibilities open up with that seven of cups. Okay. Some of you are like, oh my God, can this person I could talk to, this person, this one, like you're kind of going through your like list of friends and family members right now <laughs> thinking who can I be open to and who can I not? So I feel like the seven of cups is saying choose wisely. Okay. Choose wisely and take your time. Take your time with this process. You do not have to rush picking who is going to be worth my time and who's not. Use your intuition. Your intuition will always tell you what's best. Um, that's like your gut instinct, but use your intuition when you're trying to, to choose who is worthy of your time and who isn't. Chances are you already kind of know. And, um, if you already like you're, you're thinking of someone and you're like, Oh, I don't know about that. Run with it. They're no, no, don't talk to them about that stuff. And then lastly, some of you guys with the eight of swords, some of you guys are just ready to set yourself free. Okay. So I hope that that message kind of <clears throat> helps you guys out. Some of you are ready to be set free. Um, I think some of you are looking for the excuse or the reason to just take off what's binding you and be free. Um, and so maybe coming out with certain people will do that for you. If you are feeling safe about it and if you were feeling like you are finally ready to do it, I ask you to spread your wings and fly, my loves, and fly as high as you can, okay? If it is going to literally liberate you, mentally liberate you, because the, the swords is mental, it's going to be a good thing for you guys. So some of you are kind of like, oh, good. I don't have to tell everybody. Oh, my God. Who do I tell? Like, I have so many people that are coming up in my mind. Take your time. Slow down. And then some of you guys are just ready to do it. So I'm going to have a whole plethora of you watching this video who are going to be in different phases as far as you feel about the situation. Everybody's situation is different, so honor everybody's choices and opinions. Um, but I invite you guys, comment below and tell me, share me some of your stories. Do you ha Did you have a positive experience coming out with people? Did you have a negative experience coming out with people? Or how do you handle the difference of the two? Leave comments below. Let's have like a dialogue about it. But always honor everybody's opinions and always honor everybody's approach because we are all on different levels in our life. Okay? Anyways, you guys, until then, thank you for tuning in to another video. <laughs> um, and I will be back another day for more videos. If you guys have any ideas of videos you would like to see me talk about or do, um, leave those also in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Anyway, until then, talk to you guys later. Bye, my loves.